Hi, what is up YouTube? Welcome to this video. Today we are taking a look at the electric spark welder, the K-Weld. So I got this from Keen Lab and it costs about 160 euros.
to power the welder this is the battery uh, went for this is recommended on the website and it is uh, a nanotech battery pack alright so as you can see this is a Turnergy nanotech 5000 milliamp battery pack and it is rated at uh, 65 to 130 C discharge rate and I've seen reviews on this and everybody who uses it seems to have uh, a great experience with it so this is what we're gonna go ahead and use So this is a 0.15 millimeter nickel strip. Let's see how it does with that. two millimeter nickel strips the nickel strip flying all over the place that's why you need this case on you can easily short it with a nickel strip if this is not covered and then foot pedal Again, holes into the nickel strip. Thirty jewels. So this is a good sign. So this thing can go up to 500 joules and now 30 joules is welding 0.2 millimeter nickel strips with no problems. So if I have to rate this spot welder from 1 to 10, it's an easy 10 because 
this is a really good spot welder Hundred and fifty joules, point three millimeter nickel strips. Let's send it. Wow, that was a big spark. That was a lot of power. Hundred and fifty joules, point three millimeter nickel strips. It blew it right through the nickel strip into the battery and made a hole. You use the knob to uh, display the menu so you have mode basically to switch between automatic and uh, uh, manual modes you have uh, trigger delay you can come here to uh, set the time delay it takes to send the pulse when you apply the electrodes to the battery you also have cable length so you have to measure the cable you measure your cable from the battery to the spot welder then from the spot welder to the electrodes and you set the cable length if it is uh, equal or less than one meter then you can go ahead and just leave it by default because by default it is uh, one meter as you can see here now if you have a longer cable you want to go ahead and set that up the shorter the cable is the better it is minimum current that's 800 amps and you have an update option they, they also have a, a module on the website that you can use to update the firmware on this so that's something I'm gonna have to uh, get later on once you do the weld you can also keep the electrodes on so it can cycle through and give you more information about the spot weld as you can see here So let me know what you think about it in the comment section. If you have any question, leave it in there. I will do my best to try and respond it. Thank you for watching. See you around. Also subscribe. You can also turn off the foot pedal just by replacing it with a short on the terminal. So this way when you turn it on it's going to activate automatic mode.